What's going on guys? This is Coach AP coming at you from Lockdown City here in St. John's. I hope everybody is staying safe, staying active, and having a good time during this stretch of time. Now, we're getting into our ODR segment with Vision Hockey Group as promised. Let's talk three things before we get into the first drill. Number one is have fun. Make sure that you're playing some one-on-one or doing a game of post or something as a warm-up or as a cool-down so it's not just drills, 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 structure, structure, structure. Second of all, you don't need a thousand dollars worth of gear. You don't need it all. All you need is some stuff out of your shed and some pucks in a net. That's about all you need. And third, the drills don't have to be really, really hard. They just have to focus on good technique, Work on turning, shooting, crossing over, and doing those, making sure the techniques are well, well done with your head up. So let's get on to the first drill. Special thank you to Nolan Avery for sending these drills that we drew up for. All right, hey guys. Now let's go over that drill that was just done there, and let's go over the start of it. You can put a puck up against a dasher. Um, of your outdoor rink or putting up against a snowbank just on the side so you have to make a turn and trying to emulate picking a puck up off the dasher which is like in a game you're picking the puck up off the boards before you get that puck make sure that you're doing your shoulder checks which is going to come in handy in bantam and midget and or under 15 i should say under 18 higher level of hockey and junior or under 21 and and as the levels go up the game gets faster you may have to make a quick play once you receive that puck there so always be doing your shoulder checks and take a safe angle. It'll help elongate your career. Second of all, the turns. Making sure that I'm bending my knees when I'm approaching. I'm keeping my hands, getting my hands out and low when I'm picking the puck up. On the turn, getting my knee out over my toe, bending my knees. Glide turn to the left or to the right, always on the outside edge of the front skate, inside edge of the back skate, and making sure we're staggering our feet keeping our head up and we're not rocking our upper body forward on the turn. You see a lot of people, they're, they're in their hockey stance, and then when they do a turn, they rock their upper body forward, their head goes out over their feet, and they're off balance, and they're not in a safe position. On the shot, there's a lot of different shots that you can do there. Nolan does one where he comes into, shoots into his crossover, starts the puck on the heel of his blade, and rolls the puck to the middle of his blade. You can do a little half clapper. You can turn to the other side and take a backhand. Make sure we're practicing different ways to shoot the puck because if you watch the NHL now, guys score from so many different ways. It's more about deception and accuracy than it is about velocity. So focus on taking a backhand, taking a half clapper, maybe turning, maybe doing a no-look shot there. Just practicing things of that nature. If you're a younger player, maybe you're doing the traditional back skate to front skate weight transfer. Again, it really comes down to the skill level. However, everybody from any skill level can do this drill with very, very little gear and very little space. Have a great day. Enjoy the sun. Enjoy the weather today. It's a really nice day out there. And download the Government of Canada COVID app. See ya.